Hey, this is Rocky for the uh, National Bookstore Read Aloud Challenge. And today I'll be reading from Frank Herbert's Dune, although this is a much lovelier edition than my original. Um, it's one of the best pieces of sci science fiction that I've read and definitely one of the more meaningful books in my life. So we're reading something uh, early on in the book. It's a little traumatic, a little scary, and uh, could be fun. All right. What's in the box? Pain. He felt increased tingling in his hand, pressed his lips tightly together. How could this be a test, he wondered. The tingling became an itch. The old woman said, you've heard of animals chewing off a leg to escape a trap? That's an animal kind of trick. A human would remain in the trap, endure the pain, feigning death that he might kill the trapper and remove a threat to his kind. The itch became the faintest burning. Why are you doing this? he demanded. To determine if you're human. Be silent. Paul clenched his left hand into a fist as the burning sensation increased in the other hand. It mounted slowly, heat upon heat upon heat upon heat. He felt the fingernails of his free hand biting the palm. He tried to flex the fingers of the burning hand but couldn't move them. It burns, he whispered. Silence! Pain throbbed up his arm. Sweat stood out on his forehead. Every fiber cried out to withdraw the hand from that burning pit. But the Gomjabar. Without turning his head, he tried to move his eyes to see the terrible needle poised beside his neck. He sensed that he was breathing in gasps, tried to slow his breaths, and couldn't. Pain. His world emptied of everything except that hand immersed in agony, the ancient face inches away staring at him. His lips were so dry he had difficulty separating them. The burning, the burning. He thought he could feel skin curling black on that agonized hand, the flesh crisping and dropping away until only charred bones remained. It stopped. As though a switch had been turned off, the pain stopped. So yeah, don't you want to find out what happens next? So, uh, oops, bubble. Thanks for listening, and let's see who else we can get to do this challenge.